What do you think about when you think about Andover? The A303, the town centre, the river, coffee shops, the cinema, charity shops, the lights theatre, college, schools. Or maybe you think about the new developments being built all around the town or the military bases. Or maybe your mind is just flooded with memories you've had over the years. You know, when I think about Andover, I think about all the people and the numbers of people who call Andover home or who come into Andover to work or those who are moving into the town. The 60,000 people who live here and the growth to 80,000 that's happening in the next few years. As we look out over the town and the surrounding villages now, I can't help but think about all the people who are there right now living, working, going to school and college, shopping, or who are maybe home alone, maybe struggling. And then I start thinking about all the people I know who call Andover home, many of whom are in the churches in Andover, and I'm so grateful for all those people. And I feel so grateful to be part of the church community that is our church, the church that has loved me and my family, provided a great place for my children to explore faith and to grow in their love for Jesus, the church that has lifted me up when I felt low. The church that has led me over and over again into a place of worship for my Heavenly Father. The church that has fed the hungry and served those in need in far-flung places around the world. The church that has made me laugh and given me so many great friends. The church that has helped so many people find faith. The church that is giving young people the chance to serve the church that's grown in diversity in the last six years beyond anything we could have imagined. The church that I think is a foretaste of heaven. And then I remember that in our town, somewhere between 90 and 95% of people who call Andover home don't have that experience of a church community that I've had. And in that moment, I recognise the size and the importance of the mission that we are on together. You know, in these days of uncertainty and anxiety, people need hope. They need the hope that Jesus brings and the joy of being part of a community like Andover Baptist Church. Now, perhaps more than ever, our town needs Jesus and it needs his church to step up like never before. It needs his church to go all in on equipping people to find and follow Jesus. If you're partnering with us at ABC in any form, thank you so much. And if you're partnering with us financially through giving to ABC, thank you. As a church, we're entirely self-sustaining financially. Nobody outside of our wonderful church community gives us any money. And your giving is enabling all that happens in and through ABC to happen. And I know the sacrifices many of you are making to give financially, particularly in these difficult days. And the reality is that we can only do as much as our financial resources will allow. And God has been so good to us in providing for us. If you're not yet partnering with us financially and you're a part of our church family, can I encourage you to think and pray about what you might do? God calls us to generosity in every aspect of our lives and he calls us to financial generosity to our church home. We know God does something amazing when we join him in being generous. So if you'd like to partner with us financially or maybe increase your existing giving, then head to the giving part of our website using this link or QR code and it will give you all the details. And if you're able to commit to a regular financial gift, that would be amazing. It helps us to plan and know what we can do. And if you're a UK taxpayer, don't forget to fill in a gift aid form because we can claim back up to 25% from the government at no extra cost to you. Thanks for being such a valuable part of our community and partnering with us on this grand mission that God has called us to and that he has called us to together at Andover Baptist Church. And just imagine too, because of a step you take to partner with us this year, somebody new from this town could discover what we all benefit from in this church community and they could find Jesus for the very first time. <laughs>